I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The real gotcha de moment in the debate. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all platforms, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps this little organization, which is only and all about the gospel in the ears of kids. Kids need this gospel. If you agree with us, give today. Link in the description. So the debate, the big one in the New Testament is between Jesus and the Pharisees. Proper, is it, proper 24 gives us Matthew chapter 22, and the debate between the Pharisees and Jesus. The Pharisees test him over and over again. They bring their tests and they order try to try to trip him up for the gotcha moment that they can put on, on um, Jerusalem tube or JNN and run it over and over and over again. All right. They set it up with some flowery words. Jesus, you are just amazing. You don't care about opinions of people. You're not really concerned about um, likes and subscribes and all that. Like and subscribe today. Anyway, um, you just care about the truth and you're not swayed by appearances. So tell us, is it lawful to pay Caesar or not? And the trap here is if Jesus says, oh yeah, go ahead and pay Caesar, they're gonna be like, oh, he's pro-Roman. But if he doesn't, and he says, don't pay Caesar, they'll be like, oh, so you are anti-Roman. Anti Either way, they're going to get him. Jesus aware, verse 18, knowing they're evil, he said to them, why do you try to test me, hypocrites? Show me the coin for the tax. And they showed him a denarius. Now, a denarius is like one day's salary. And Jesus said, whose icon is on this? And what, and what inscription is this? So whose picture is on the coin? And they said, well, Caesar's. And so he said, therefore, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but give to God what is God's. Booyah. There he is. Debate one. They get packing. They went away empty-handed. No, no, um, no soundbite. Now, Here's the deal. They're to give, you're to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Or in this case, give to Washington what's Washington's. His inscription's right there on the, on the bill. But to God, you're to give God's. What's God's? And so you are given to pay your taxes and to be part of the civil discussion and, and, and be a good citizen. Obey the laws. Uh, live under the rules of your land. Um, where there's a quarantine, respect the quarantine. Where there isn't, don't. Where, drive the speed limit. You're given to obey the government as if God instituted it, because he did. You're not given to tear things down, to go crazy, rip things up, and, and, and destroy things when you don't get your way. Or revolt. There's the trap. You see the trap? They wanted him to either be anti-Roman and therefore radically part of the protests or pro-Roman and therefore part of the problem. So he says, you know, you're to give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but to God. To God, you're to give what, he, what is God's. And what is God's? Well, to God... You are given your sins, your failures, your mess ups, your sicknesses, your prayers, where you have, where, where the things that you hold fast to, to God, you are to, to, to give your life, your heart, your soul, your all. That's law and gospel, your obedience, and then when you fail, your sins. 
And only in Jesus, only in the forgiveness of sins, do you receive life eternal, which isn't given to you from Caesar, but from God in the sending of his son. Luza said this, and this was quoted in um, the, the study Bible. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and give it to you from the study Bible. It is the duty and obligation of those who participate in this earthly regime to administer law and punishment, to maintain the distinctions that uh, exist amongst ranks and persons, to manage and distribute property. But the gospel does not trouble itself in the, with these matters. It teaches us about the right relation of the heart of God. So taxes, property, government, all gift from God for you to obey and do what's given you to do. Forgiveness, life, salvation in Jesus Christ is what the church is given to deliver to you. And you are given to receive by faith what Jesus did for you. I'm Pastor George Borkhart in the bunker. They're working on the education wing of my church, but it doesn't change that I'm here with you. And this has been another Higher Things video short.